it has been a bit since I have played Disco Elysium. It has been uh, about a week or so, so I may be a little uh, unsure on what I am doing. Kim's gone. I need to go uh, do things when Kim is gone. That's right. Okay. Um, I remember I remember immediately what I was doing. Uh, you have no idea where you are. Lena encouraged you to ask others to explain the world to you in greater detail. Perhaps try a rich person. Rich people are educated. Well, that we, we've been over the fact that that is not always true, but that's right. I was going to go talk to the lady. Uh, what is her name? Joyce? Her name is Joyce, I believe. There is something more sad about Kim being gone. It is the, it is the saddest situation on the planet. Hello, Joyce. I have met Everett Claire. He is something else. He's fat and funny. Yes, that is true. I also did just punch Kuno in the face. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I'd like to talk to Everett Claire. You have? Oh, no, I have already. And how did you like Mr. Claire? She smiles carefully. Finally, time to choose sides. Oh. He is not the champion I have chosen. I wish to swear fealty to you and the cause of capital. Good God. I can do business with him. For a socialist, he's reasonable. He's a bloated rainbow socialist. He is... I've sworn fealty... Good God. How did you like Mr. Cl you know, I mean, it says time to choose sides, which like... I get, but I didn't like him. Well, no, that's not true. I did like him. I thought he was hilarious, but I didn't like him. So I don't know what side I'm choosing. I just didn't like him. So I was, I'm just, I didn't like him. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait, actually. She answers her own question. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, vermin-like corruption, reaching into the bowels of the earth. Of course, I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a verm myself. But if you felt like passing some information, mm, what are you trying to get out of me, lady? How could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not? Curious to hear another person's take. It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. You know, she's been really smooth for a while with how she's been trying to negotiate with me, but this one comes off extremely heavy handed. Tell her she'll like you for it. Okay, okay, electrochemistry. Yes, your disgusting necktie agrees completely. Let's gossip. Mr. Ever is helping me find my gun. I mean, I don't really believe that he is, but sure, why not? Oh. That's so helpful of him. I don't think she believes me. Her eyes become large and round. So very, very helpful. And how is that going? Do you have any leads on that gun? <laughs> Mr. Everett is helping me find my gun. Ah, uh, yes. As you said. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Your gun, yes. What? You want to talk about something else now. What's wrong with me? Well, that's not good. <laughs> it's fine over here. You sure it's not some sort of glandular problem? <laughs> oh, I love how electrochemistry is like, oh, shit, um... Brain's good. Um, something else problematic in, in your body? What is happening? No, it's not that. It's... I have no idea. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Mr. Ever is helping me find my gun. Executive function is completely shot. I keep pushing buttons and nothing is happening. <laughs> no, not, not even Volition can save me? Oh my god. 
sweetheart, please stop repeating that now. <laughs> Her eyes look worried, frightened even. This is going to be hard to recover from. Oh my god, I'm still going. Please. Oh my god, I'm still going. Yes, yes, Mr. Everard. This gossiping idea was terrible on my part. I take it back. The woman scans her surroundings as though a neurologist might magically appear. Fear seeps into you as you say it. Your skin crawls. Mr. Evart is helping him find his gun. Who the fuck is that? Do you want me to take you to a hospital, sir? Yes. Wait, I can't afford the medical bills. No. Wait, this is in America. Yes. Things were going so well before. There's no other option. The process must be interrupted. You think we should turn him off and back on again? I, I love how my internal monologues are, are discussing with each other. Officer. Yeah, we need to pull the plug. There's nothing else to do. Are you not afraid? It'll kill him. Oh my God, if this actually kills me, like straight up and reverse the save, I'm gonna laugh. Physically. He should be fine, or at least no worse than usual. Okay, I'm gonna do it. No! Oh my god, I actually lost HP! Oh my god, it could kill me. If I had no HP, it could actually fucking kill me. Oh my god! Detective, is everything all right in there? Judging by your tone of voice, probably not. No, not at all, I'm afraid. Y you seem to be caught in some sort of loop. I have no idea what you're talking about. Never mind the details. We've wasted enough time as it is. What matters is that you seem to have got out of it. I can't believe I took damage from that. Now, please ask me something else before it happens again. Something that, preferably, doesn't include the words Mr. or Everard. Oh, so very, very helpful. And how is that going? Do you have any leads on that gun? Well, maybe he's not as helpful as you thought then. Is there anything else? <laughs> no, I don't, want to, I don't want to lose any more HP. Of course, detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, yeah, the tattoos. That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. So you do know something about the tattoos. Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. Don't force stay, stay me, what? She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. All right, yo. Give me a lowdown on the world. Rich people are smart. This reality. Her hard close one. My medical episode. Ah, yes. The episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy now that I think of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> but then I'm no doctor. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. All right, you're in. Begin with the first one. You'll appear worldly. Okay. Um, where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. Baby? A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. It's a disco holdover, pay it no heed. I'm a disco holdover myself. <laughs> Aren't we all? Am I over 50? Martinez is a district of Revachol. It's a piece of shit. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor, north of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. I want to know more about it. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before as a teenager. 
Not a lot has changed. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy shoulders. I'm trying. A brief spike of longing in her upright body. The dots under her eyelids shake. This place used to be a province. A workers' resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. Oh. The reeds are the real star of the show here now. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. Yes, I was slumming it with some girlfriends of mine. Slumming we had it. Boats and don't hold it against me. The boys certainly did not. <laughs> There's a spark in the air, a live wire hanging in the wind in your hungover neocortex. Then the sea air cools it down. That was kind of a good good way to say that. I like that. that uh, out of all the ways you could say that, that was a pretty good one. Hey, what sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. Oh. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water. The Insulindic. Okay. Vast. Lukewarm and unknowable. Flowing in and out of sight. They really did a whole lot of world building for this game. When they, you could have really just said post-revolutionary France and been done with it. It's rather impressive. We barely even look at a lot of it. A whole shitload of this world is just background. It, it's actually kind of surprising because there's not a whole lot of like work with that kind of, with the world. You know, like it's it's not required. You didn't need to go this hard at all. It's it's like they you put like ninety percent effort into something that required five, which is just really really impressive. Caillou. Imagine a pebble, a smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue sea, misshapen, cracked. The cracks are the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river on the sixth branch. The Martinez distributary. It is clear this pebble is of enormous value to her. Okay. Revachol. Revachol is what you call a city. Man, I'm so stupid. It's so funny to ask her all these questions with this face. The great kind. As if it's self-explanatory. Beyond patriotism. A fact. Wow. Huh. History detective. They built this city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. The nations of the Occident, or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. I feel like Disco Elysium would make a particularly good aesthetic for a high-level dive bar. Maybe not a dive bar. Maybe something fancier than that. Like a... Like a rooftop bar in a major city, like New York or Boston or San Francisco or Atlanta. This kind of color palette, these these bright yellows and reds, the 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 painting kind of thing, the overall atmosphere, I think it would do pretty well. See, it, it's it's artsy and hipstery enough to let you charge uh, eighteen dollars a margarita. So you'll definitely stay in business. Yeah. <laughs> in the DeLorean century. 380 years ago. Holy Christ. They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest. The fault lines deepest. By that I mean... <coughs> conflicts, <coughs> ideological conflicts. <coughs> I choked on my own water. Of men. I choked on my own water. God damn it! We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island, able to sustain up to two hundred million people, in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean. Holy crap! The world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. Two hundred million people, in the middle of the ocean. God damn. Also, I should make it clear, $18 margaritas is a total ripoff, but you know, if you're gonna make an Indian hipster in a major city, you're gonna have $18 margaritas. I know, I've been there. 
So we're in an unimportant part of an important place? I think it's fair to say so. Martinez is about... She points across the water with a skyscraper drive. 22 drives. kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Coalition government, Insulindian Mission Command. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunately. Hmm. Derealization. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Inland Empire might actually get really helpful if I get this thought. Was there something else you wanted to know? I remember Did something about a lowdown. Did anyone have a, um, is there a map uh, of Revishal and the, the ins? Like, it's so hard to memorize this world and all the names, like the peninsula and, and the sea, the Innsmouths. I'm already forgetting it. DeLorean Century, Ilmara, whatever, like, is, is there a goddamn map? I'd love a map. What times are these? These are unimportant times, Detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. For the big time. Her eyes light up. There's a flash of teeth. The smile of a predator. No doubt what she's got in mind. What's the big time? The revolution. It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next, who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real kerfuffle. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists, they all got shot in the head. So the com so we we've we figured this out already. The communists got wait, holy fuck, that's a oh my god, 40 million. I didn't I didn't get that in my brain properly. I mean, if you're going to lose an astonishing amount of people, you might as well basically be the Russians. They're good at that. Communism. You just, you just got to up the numbers, you know, take it from 21 million or whatever to 40 million and then bada bing bada boom. Hey, da. She's not gloated. It's a relieved celebration. Hmm. Not gloating. Well, we know she works as the liaison between the capitalists, or I guess fascists, maybe capitalists, and the communists. She's a liaison between the two, but she seems, she seems like, um, more happy she gets to live with what she's doing. Uh, let, me, let me keep talking to her. Maybe I can explain why I try to mean better more. Oh, and the anarchists, too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Did they ever? Before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. That's it? You had a major revolution, you killed two million, and so they turned around and killed four? 40? You basically were like, it's it's like, oh no, Texas is seceding from the Union of the United States and they killed a few of our guys. All right, we're going to genocide Texas. The whole state goes away. I think that's a bit extreme. Truly a kerfuffle. Yes, the... Insulindian deluge, they call it. I had a deluge too in my head. 
point ahead. Yes. An acute thiamine deficiency can be exacerbated by alcoholism. Exacerbated means made worse. You know, it's smart for her to make these. I, I know what exacerbated means, but it's smart for her to reduce it for my for my brain. I am indeed uh, Harry Dubois. Oh, lots. Dubois, whatever. Even the king got shot in the head, or thrown beneath a horse, or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Ha! Huh. Smart. Yes. King Guillaume had a nose for bad PR. He ran before it. What is the expression? Went down? Anyway, Gil got out alive and his nephew Frisell got shot in his place. Ha! Huh. Him and tens of thousands of his wonderfully fascist kingsmen. It was a wild time. She strikes me as fascinating. She she doesn't strike me as someone who really is taking a side. She's neither on the capitalist side nor on the um on the, the communist side. She just seems like she kind of just wants to keep living her good life. She's obviously very wealthy. She's older. She's lived a long life. She looks good. She's probably looked good in the past. She just kind of wants to not take a side on any on either. Just coast it out. Hmm. The liberals got the mineral rights. And by mineral rights, I mean everything. By liberals, you mean the communists, or do you mean... Liberals are usually middle-class people, detective. Or the remaining gentry. The beneficiaries of the pre-revolutionary arrangement. Ah, oh, this is difficult now. I've spent so much time with modern American politics that now whenever I hear the word liberal, I assume that they're referring to communists. Because you you take, like, the, the most extreme of, of the side. Liberals are communists, and conservatives are fascists, and... It's all gone downhill. <sighs> okay, liberals are usually middle class people or the remaining gentry, the beneficiaries, the pre revolutionary arrangement. The arrangement. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution, with monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras or ultra liberals. They fared well. I'm sorry, just the the words. The word ultra liberals is fucking hilarious to me. God damn. Give me a quick second to uh, uh Oh god. I, I, I can't I have alright, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna look up a meme, but it's probably not good for this thing right now. How'd the liberals win it all? Yeah, I thought I would assume if you backed the revolutionaries, you would have been one of the 40 million to be shot on the head. They didn't win so much as survive. We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? Wait. So, if I'm getting this correct, the revolution was genuinely a communist revolution. And out of the 40 million people who took part in the revolution, who died in the revolution, only 2 million of the major governing body were killed. And thir the other 38 were the revolutionaries. I think I, I misconstrued this. I think I assumed that the 40 million were shot in the head as an executed post-revolution. Like, were lined up and shot, as opposed to simply died during the revolution. She says we as if she was one of those, uh, one of the liberals that backed the revolution, or at least stood the most to gain. If everyone got shot, who was there to surrender to? To foreign intervention. The coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. 
He's just said the liberals already took everything. The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. The ocean, the laws, and the people. Oh, so we broke down the entire system of government, had a gigantic massacre, and then and then Canada moved in and was like, well, guess this is going to be ours, eh? And stuck a flag. The Coalition of Nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper. Never mind, the Vestina, UN did it. Oranje, the UN did it, my Lake, apologies. The armed center of the world. They landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. What is a what do you mean by moralist? There is bitterness in her voice, tempered with understanding. She is critical, but ultimately understands the cause. You know, you know what uh you know what upsets me? I ask questions and then Henry immediately, or Harry immediately wants me to says the same thing, which means I'm thinking a lot like Harry, and that's 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 not that good. I don't like that. I I don't I, I don't really want to be like Harry. The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. <laughs> okay. That sounds like pacifism, which normally never works. At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. Hmm. The rulers of Revachol, and also the world. These guys are strong. <laughs> Thanks, physical instrument. This is their zone of control. They embolden the RCM with crumbs of the same law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. Because I haven't chosen a side yet? I don't think I'm a moralist, ma'am. Not just technically, practically as well. I like what I've heard about these people. If always picking the option that doesn't commit to anything, then hell yes I am, and also not! <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. Um Hmm. I don't know. The entire the, the entire time so far, I guess I probably have gone down the moralist path. But honestly, I think it's it's more than I'm just kind of a pussy. Like I have it well, and I also don't have enough information. You know, in the beginning, we were we were straight on, like, workers' rights, union, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then Joyce was like, tell me what the union demands. And I was like, oh, God, that's, holy shit, I don't know how I feel about the union anymore. And then I met met Everett, Claire, and he's like, Mr. Dubois, I, you're looking at my, my fat fucking knockers, aren't you, Mr. Dubois? Damn, I got some a uh, fucking ass. And then I'm like, oh my god, I really don't like the union. But I'd rather often take the union more than I'd take the, the, the capitalist ventures. But at the same time, like I kind of like the Hardy Boys. They're they're a bit of they're dickheads to me, but if I was the Hardy Boys, I'd be a dickhead to me too. Um uh, I don't, I don't have enough info. Can I meet your boss so I can have an overall uh, idea on the world? I don't know. I don't even know about half the world yet to pick a side. This isn't fair. I'm being judged too early. I need more information. Also, because I don't like hurting people's feelings. Of course. Not easy to be moderate about head shooting in your line of work. Hmm. When was this kerfuffle? 50 years ago, right? Turn of the century revolution. Don't answer it. It's a trick question. Okay. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end, nearly the whole world had gotten involved. It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Zarat, a particularly virulent prion disease which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Oh. Then Marzolf came along and overthrew the government. Hey! 
It made people overthrow their governments. Wow, really? Of course not. Thank you. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. From Revachol and Grad. That's um far, the world managed to uh, pulverize topical. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the Six coalition years. crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. Didn't this game come out in 2019? What poor timing. Oh dear. Why? You and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. Yeah. Maybe it's because she has a boat and you have that necktie? A pair of pants? <laughs> yeah, I think there might be a bit of a class disparity between the two of us. No doubt. But we share the same time and position on the planet's crust. That counts for more than you think. Deflection, I give you B minus partial points. A city state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the coalition of nations. And you, of course, the citizens militia. The clatter of typewriter keys fills the main hall of the reappropriated silk mill. Precinct 41. Chad Tilbrook presses enter. Outside. Officer Elfboy Williams slams the door of an armored motor carriage. The zone of control is the third incarnation of Revachol, after the failure of the suzerain and the commune. Modernity. They developed the marvels of the inter communication. Telematic milieus, radiation, colored plastics. Ooh. Meanwhile, in Revachol West, the aftermath continues for the fifth decade. So we are behind in technology comparatively to the rest of the world. Everyone else continued. We stayed as a bombed out crater under the control of a different government. 43 years. Hard to fathom, I know. The 20s saw a decade of urban war. West of the river leveled. Offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. The 30s? Things settled down in the 30s. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven, with the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Well, not in Martinez. No. It was a market mirage fueled by cocaine and quantitative easing. Ah, the 80s. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash an isla wide hangover you might say and here we are ah a market mirage fueled by cocaine let's fucking go i'd suck off ronald reagan welcome to reality baby new skill point yay from the looks of it the 50s haven't been much better for the zone of control you can see it in her eyes days slipping away you don't seem to be thrilled. I've no right to be dissatisfied. This shirt is Barbara Muscova. This raincoat is impervious to rain and is guaranteed for a hundred years. My daughters will wear it. No, it's just... We could have had so much more. Every one of us. If only we played it right. Hmm. She actually seems a little bit upset about that. Not something you see too often from someone wearing, uh, Gucci. Revachol Gucci. Reva Chanel. Good question. What would you have done differently? Drink less. No, her first. Okay, Volition. No, you first. And I asked you, past less detective of the citizens' militia, what insight has acute encephalopathy given to you? Here's some wisdom, lady. Say the death thing. I would have killed more. 400 million if that's what it took. 
<laughs> Thanks, Half Light. Hmm. What would I have done differently? It's actually kind of, it's quite difficult determining what I would like in this situation. Because I often wonder, am I playing myself or am I playing as uh, Harry? What would Harry say? And what would I say? On one hand, this game gets, like, really gets in my jorts and makes me want to play it like how I would play it in real life. And then the other part of me is like, Mr. D uh, Everett is helping me find my gun. And then I, I don't know. It's quite difficult. <sighs> I think the real me would have said, I don't know what I would have done differently. But I, I don't like the, that as an answer, so I'm going to go with the medical answer. A cold creeps up your spine, reaching its tendrils up your neck, toward the back of your head. So a quarter of humanity simply lost their minds. And how would you stop a prion? A complex folding protein, unlife, with a technology 50 years ago. Some hygiene, a modest social care, and perhaps a little research program. Yeah. The wind stops, and for a moment, yeah. there's silence. The charge dissipates into the dark water. All is quiet on the Martinez Inlet. We love a good research program. I won a science victory in Endless Space 2 all the time. There is peace in the heart. Good hygiene. Really. That was a very <sighs> moderate solution to an extreme problem. It's those sort of half measures that doomed the authorities in Grad. I also said research program. You had to start with the hygiene option. Of all the options I had, you had to start with the hygiene. Come on. What what about the <sighs> whatever. When they failed to step up, Marzorf and his party stepped in. In this particular case, Maybe a more robust state response might have been appropriate. Hmm. Interesting decision from you, Joyce. They are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? Well, let's let's I'm curious about my my brain. It's a neurological disorder caused by a lack of vitamin B in the brain. Symptoms include a retrograde amnesia. It's quite serious. You should get yourself checked out. I probably should. She conveys it in short, cold bursts, trying not to invest too deeply in the condition of this doomed detective. Well, it's either bariatric surgery or long-term alcohol use. Oh, probably from the surgery then. That seems unlikely. God damn it, Joyce. I was being sarcastic. What this boils down to is... This reality thing is stupid. Blow this joint, grab a bottle, and drain that shit right down your throat. Thanks, electrochemistry. You've always got it out for me. Yes, and perform autoerotic asphyxiation on yourself with your funny necktie out in the open somewhere. Just call me Harry Carradine. David Harradine. Wait, wait. This reality thing is the only game in town it's probably in your interest not to blow it i have uh thanks volition she stares at you head tilted to the side with a slightly concerned look on her face all right let's try the uh spirit of core one six kilometers oh, thank god in the valley of dogs junior officer chad tilbrook takes aim at a rabid black dog licking its wounds in the grass. Oh, shit. To his left, his partner, Emil Mullins, whispers, you heard what happened to Tequila Sunset in Martinez? Yes, he lost his mind, Tilbrook answers, fingers on the trigger. Don't worry, Emil. He pulls it out slowly. Slowly now. He'll find it again. We always do. Do 
you. You're an officer of the RCM. Preciso Mundo. Hmm. Nothing more nor less than the de facto law enforcement body of post-revolutionary Revachol, detective. De facto? Yes. That means not de jure. The RCM acts in what is poetically called the twilight of international law, both at the behest of the coalition government and to its chagrin. The RCM's responsibilities are defined by the Emergency, Wayfarer, and Aliments Acts, through pieces of legislation keeping the city in a, let's be honest, laissez-faire stasis to the benefit of foreign capital. There are so many questions. So I'm basically a lackey of the capital? There's nothing basic about your role, detective. It's true that the RCM keeps everything the way our seemingly permanent provisional rulers like it. Yet, on the other hand, I know these people. I deal with them daily. Let me tell you, dear, they are not fans of you. Oh, I can't imagine they would be. The post-revolutionary decade was a disaster for the coalition government. Revachol in the 20s was hell, especially on the west side of the river. Gang warfare, a botched privatization scheme, a nuclear pile meltdown. <laughs> oh, yes, let's not forget about the nukes. They called it the international zone because no nation wanted to claim responsibility. The RCM restored peace where the coalition failed. A true blue citizens initiative. They will never forgive you. Oh. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, even though it probably isn't the whole story. So permit me to conclude with this. Who you are to me is the police. The only legitimate law enforcement authority in Revachol. I mean, it's actually a rather... I I think Kim was talking about this earlier, and, and that's why he has, like, some pride in his job. Is because of this? Maybe? And if those authorities drink so hard they need help recalling the basic terms of reality, well, I'm here to help. Joyce is a fascinating character. What is this? Spread your hands. A bird? A... Svenicid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? I'm flying. I'm going. Some sort of krill hunter? No, wait. You're an ancient ruin. A symbol of hubris and decay. Half submerged in some salty sea. Of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. Ah! This is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, uh -huh. where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's quite expensive. Or two. A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, bâtiments. After les bâtiments nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not nouveau. They're old. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real oh, high shit. rise by the standards of the last century. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the Delta. That was before the war, of course. Mm -hmm. Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before the cannons locked four or five stories off. That tends to that does tend to lower the property value. Splat, splat. From a dilapidated balcony, Sydney the Skull gives Joyce the evil eye, her red paintbrush held to her throat. Wonderful. I'm shocked you heard her. I would like to know. You know wait. Yes, the RCM's response. I'm curious about the rest of these things. By the emergence, there's nothing based yet. Oh, never mind. The it's the same thing, so basically. Permit me to conclude with this. And if those authorities drink so yeah, well, hard, all right, there's that. Recalling. Hmm. What are you, Joyce? She won't maneuver her way out of this one. I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. <laughs> Trust me, I've done worse things to children. As in kick them, as in kick them, as in like like violence, like with Kuno and stuff. I didn't I have not eaten children. 
or done anything that might involve eating children or worse than that. I realized my mistake very quickly. I do. You keep you keep those pep, Pepe stairs out of here. Shut up. I am an ultra. Yeah, I'm a sigma. She raises the corner of her mouth, smirking, revealing a canine. It's sharp. <laughs> Dios mio! A liberal! Yes. <laughs> I am the nether creature of the forbidden Fucking hell! I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. My kind surrendered the nation to financial colonists. Fucking hell, that was funny. So uh, I am neither the neither. I am the nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. My kind surrendered the nation to financial colonists. I can see you thought we'd gone extinct. After all, no sane person identifies as an ultra liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. You're a centrist at heart, a real moralist, no? Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, do you find me frightening? In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decades of guilt and pride. Guilt and pride? Forgive her. But only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes. Electrochemistry, I'm with you. I forgive you, but only because you're charming. A devil who being of great charm and guile sneaketh into the homes of the godly. I need to figure out who the VA is for Joyce. She sounds incredibly familiar. Beneath her waterproof raincoat and silk shirt is a body imbibed in numb 12 perfume. You are suddenly and intimately <laughs> aware of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I am not going to say what a fuck. I am not going to do it. I'm sorry. I know you probably want me to do it. I am not going to do it. You got the Mr. Everett uh, loop, all right? You already got enough for today. I hope so. I hope we are able to continue as friends despite my scaly bulk and the insanity, bloodshed, and transfer of wealth that took place here. It was not the plan all along. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. This was all our last generation managed. Hmm. With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery. While a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east, Light drizzle washing it clean. Lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez, and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. She realizes her small, cold fists are clenched. She loosens them. Then for my daughters, we had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Hmm. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. You're a patriot. Yes, I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. Perhaps my intellectual vanity will be my undoing. <laughs> yes. Whatever else I am, I'm also a mother and a wife. Now, shall we return to reality? I feel like Joyce, given a different situation and perhaps a different skill set, would be superbly dangerous. She is actually a little frightening. Uh, 
holds a lot of power, has quite the past, and I'd say even more past that, is quite determined in her own mindset over others. Hmm. Who the fuck is that child on the rooftop? The girl in the old lady rags? Yes. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Yes, you and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Damn underground hipsters. She prefers a fantasy world. An infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. I understand everything. Make it more complicated. I can't. That's how simple it is. Oh, shit. One may dye their hair green and wear their grandma's coat all they want. Cattle has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique capital end up reinforcing it instead. All right. What next? A strange coldness comes over you as you look at the world. The waves sway the sloop slowly. That's all. It's on the tip of your tongue. A doubt of sorts already in your head. But it's not fully formed yet. You have to wait and return to this later. Once the jamais vu thought is complete. Holy shit. Three... <laughs> Impossible. Twenty. Holy crap. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? What's this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions somewhere in Martinez. Oh no, is it moralist time? Is empathy about to hit me with the moralist decision? <sighs> That's me. Mr. Reasonable. Someone's got to keep it sane around here. This is because I keep saying none of the above to political stuff, isn't it? That's fucking hilarious. That's exactly what I've been doing. I don't want to hurt people's feelings, and I don't want to take a side yet, because I don't know everything yet. That's exactly what I've been doing. It's also about that, but it's also more. Perhaps it's the hangover. Perhaps it's a temporary surge of serotonin. But something tells you <sighs> it's time to become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. The kingdom of conscience. What? Is, where is this kingdom of conscience? It is not a place. It is a moment in time that can only arise in the right circumstances. In all of human history, it's only been achieved a handful of times. Incrementally. Yawn. You'd get there faster with a little speed. History's greatest catastrophes have been brought about by people trying to make the world a better place. Too quickly. Ah. Ah. That's the genius of Dolores Day. She recognized that progress is meaningless if its gains are lost because of instability. Real, lasting change can only come about gradually, increment by increment. But what about the things that are wrong now? Tisk, tisk. Just because you live in the present doesn't mean you have the right to place your needs above the needs of the future. Sometimes I do, yeah. You may never live to see the kingdom of conscience. Your children may not. Even your grandchildren might not. But that's no excuse not to keep working. What sang for? What benevolence? What a fucking joke. <laughs> Do you believe the status quo is preferable to chaos and bloodshed? Yes, but that's a loaded question. There you have it. Sometimes holding the line is progress. That's... That's not fair. 
The dose makes the poison. There's in-betweens. The kingdom is difficult to comprehend and even more difficult to describe. Partly because humanity will need to discard many of the categories that define and limit it today. The kingdom of conscience is post-capitalist, post-national. It's also post-industrial, post-ideological, and even post-sexual. I've already opted in on a, on the the communism one. I've also opted in on the taxation one. Should I opt in on this one too? It sounds funny just to opt into all the options. So I'm just going to opt into all of them. Slow down, Mr. Reasonable. Did you miss the part about compromising and taking things slow? Yo, right, then we'll get there. Eventually. That's right. Remember, real democracy is just around the corner for Revershaw. When that real democracy kicks in, a long time from now, we are all going to be so much happier. A long time from now, right around the corner. Make up your fucking mind. I've got a skill point, though. That's pretty great. Kingdom of Conscience. I like, uh, I like this game. It likes to, um, meme on and, uh, and criticize even the things that at the same time, um, encourages. It's, it's like, and it's, it's very different. Ricky, by the way, you are also not full communist, liberalist, moralist until you've internalized the thought. You can also unilateralize thoughts you've internalized. Oh, sorry, unilateral. God damn it, Ricky, I'm stupid. Uninternalized thoughts. Gotcha. Would, um... Would indirect modes of taxation be the liberal option? Based on what they, they talked about earlier, it sounds like that this that the is a liberal option. Okay, quick question that is normally I would not want because spoilers, but I have a quick question here. Is there a fascism option? Hard right instead. There is. Are, are those the only four? If there's another one, I am curious. Yes, politically. The, the, the four main political bodies being liberalism, or, or I guess it would be communism and fascism as the extremes, and then liberalism and um, moralism as the not quite extremes, but still kind of on one side thing. There are six? There's liberalism and ultra-liberalism, communism, fascism, and nationalism. And, oh, so, and, and then, and then moralism. Liberalism, ultra-liberalism, communism, fascism, nationalism, and moral, oh, God. What would an ultra, uh, ultra-liberalism be? Would that be like, like, full-stop fucking American psycho- uh, uh, stock exchange, Wall Street motherfucker. Like, uh, like I, I gotta be honest, indirect modes of taxation already feels like it's ultra liberalism. The it's like this is this already feels like it right now. 
Stuff this meal ticket in your eye socket. Let's see if we can steal some love back from the robber barons at the customs agency and the banditos at the Insul Insulindia financial over. Oh, wait, more. This doesn't seem right at all. Wait, this isn't right. There's so much. There's so much here. There's so much politics that I don't understand. I'm just going to be a fucking fence sitter for now. I'm going to talk to the kid. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? A bizarre person. What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Is an armor art for the body? Ugh, all right, sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military grade handwear. Look cute as hell. If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. Have a good time. Let's go. No, no. That's all the snitching Cindy the Skull does for today. Actually, I don't even know why I told you what I just told you. I have a weakness for animals. It's the animal thing again. Damn it. Ooh. Not only have you found my address, You've discovered my shoot, God, Piggy. It. It's what you do, isn't it? I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. I thought I had like a check with her. Maybe I didn't. Well, we know where the gloves are at least. Murder weapon, working firearm. Oh my God, I still smell like death. Oh my god, I still- Oh my god, I need to clean myself. I completely forgot. I just had an entire conversation with Joyce while smelling like death. Kind of makes sense that Joyce is an ultra-liberal, though. With the wealth she's accumulated and the and the money and the outfit, like kinda makes sense. Bitch. That's all I gotta say to you. Oh right. Hey bud. Um I owe you money. Can I help you? On my bill for tonight. Got the twenty real? Yes. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need Another 20 real tomorrow. I know. How could anyone forget, asshole? <laughs> Let's clean myself up, yeah? I think it's about time to check in for the night. I have two skill points. Is it normal for me to be saving these? I'm always a little bit, like, unsure about what to do, you know? Probably because I, I want to do, like, a, an option and then fail it and then try again with a skill point. Bathtub. This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. The bathtub slowly fills with water. The water beckons. Undress, close your eyes, and the submerge. Water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. Oh. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks, like sad duckies. <laughs> That's funny. You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. Take the beer cans out. Now you are alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. 
They're not even really thoughts, just assorted sensations. None of them acute enough to focus on. Imagine something. You see the corpse. You can still smell the cadaver on you. Oh. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Time to get moving. Oh, fine. The water line recedes as you stand. You are cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. Yay! Look at me! A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's, let's put one into interfacing. Yeah! A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. The chain cutter slips. No! As you attempt to twist the faucet into place. Well, you know one thing for sure. You've probably never been a plumber. I did. I, I helped, and it didn't do enough. All right. You know what? I'm gonna unlock another thought, and then we're gonna put on the derealization thought in there. Oh, I guess it's bedtime. The fan stands still. The switch must be broken. The lights are off again. I guess it's bedtime. What the fuck? I can take these bottles, but I can't take the big wine bottle in the center? I assumed I couldn't take any of these bottles because of the giant wine bottle in the center. And I was like, oh, can't take this wine bottle. I guess that means that this area can't, you can't get the bottles. I guess you can. Well, what the shit? Well, that's awkward. The bed is still cold from the broken window and not too inviting, but it's you. The window stands broken in it. You see some lights. Oh, I'd like to repair the window if I could, but I can't. The bed is still... I'm too stupid anyway. Going to sleep. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. We're gonna have another Here creep. we are again, my broken bot. The waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay always half aware of yourself. I don't know yet. You're not cooperating, brother man. Brother man. It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot because of the pain. Is pain threshold going to say something? And there's a lot of it. I knew it. Ever present in your organs. It's like every one of them has their own nasty song to sing. Every cell in your body is moaning in agony, asking, what did we ever do to you? I'm sorry, cells. It's all me. It's my fault. Now, you're finally thinking about something other than yourself. Let's see how far that'll get you. I'm an artist and liver damage is my art. I think I need medical attention. Oh, yes. They'll check you out, give you some pills, make it all okay. The Wonder Makers. Don't be stupid, Harry. It's not happening. They don't make new 
kidneys and livers in hospital. Uh, All yeah. you've got to do is pray to God it passes and stare at the flickering darkness. You're just stuck here in the half world. Could try looking at other people really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? I was look at people all the time. I like people. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? Some of them are. Some of them are nice. Others are scared. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself, while the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Thanks, Limbic System. It's very mean to me. I haven't been very nice to it either, but it's it doesn't seem to like me when I have when I have a good time. I'm not currently having a very good time. At least my morale is healed. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm awake. Don't you worry, world. I'm back. And I'm here with a vengeance. And Kim is probably back downstairs. Yay! Let's go, our boy! Yes? Oh. I kind of thought he'd have more to say than that. Who are you? Are you officers? The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. Horse-faced woman. Okay, I need to stop right right now. I'm gonna, I'm going too far. It's been over an hour.